welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, guys. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button to stay inspired and to wise up and rise up above these narcissists. So if you clicked on this video, you want to know more about why doesn't the nar narcissist compliment you? Why is it that they're so incompetent of giving you the littlest thing, which is a compliment? The reason behind that, if you guys are new to my channel, I used to be in an 18 years narcissistic abusive relationship with my ex. It's now been two years that I've been on my healing journey. And let me tell you, I've educated myself in the ins and outs about narcissism. And just based off of my experience and stuff, I'm only speaking my point of view to you guys. So maybe you guys can relate to it. And if you relate to it and you understand where I'm coming from, then it'll resonate. So at the end of the day, the reason why the narcissist doesn't give you compliments is because everything is ego to them. Understand this and stand in the facts and knowing that that's your answer right there. If a person is very egotistical, they're jealous of you. They're, um, they're jealous of you. They're, they, maybe they might be spiteful. Maybe they may be vindictive to see that you're doing good or let's say you're looking good, right? They'll be envious of you. So the narcissist is all of these things all in one. So at the end of the day, because they're so egotistical and because their ego is so fragile is why they can't see themselves to give you, their partner, a compliment. Because at the end of the day, everything is all revolved around them. They're like a child, right? When a, ch a child wants all the attention, all the love, all the affection, they're not thinking to be considerate about other people and other people's feelings. The narcissist can give two flying fucks about your feelings, about, you, about how you're feeling in that moment. And this is why they always manipulate you and gaslight you when you try to bring things to their attention of what's bothering you because they don't give a fuck about how you feel, right? It's all about them. In that moment, it's all always about them. Like a child seeking attention out from the whole world all the time. Look at me, look at me, look at me. This is why the narcissist will never give you a compliment because it's not about you. It's always about them. You gotta feed their ego. You gotta stroke their ego. You gotta give them compliments. You gotta make them feel good. This is why sometimes on special occasions when you're celebrating you or other people are celebrating you, they will try to spitefully screw up your special day or try to spitefully mess up something that's supposed to be a celebration for you. Let's say you got a new job. Let's say you lost weight. Let, let just it, anything in general happens good for you. They will do anything to mess it up for you because at the end of the day, they don't want to see other people glorified and other people being recognized. It's always about them because their ego is so fragile and everything in their mind is based off of their ego. What can you do for me? What can you show me? What can you, you know, what attention can you put on me? Me, 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 me. That's all like a broken record playing inside of their head. Me, 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 me. Not about you. So, Stand in the facts to understand that it really has nothing to do with you. It always has to do about them. So if you see that you're in a relationship with a narcissist, let's say you're still with a, a narcissist and you see they're never giving you attention, right? It's because of the fact that everything is all about them and their fragile ego. It has nothing to do with you. They don't want to glorify you because at the end of the day, they think that if they're glorifying you or they're showing you, you know, that, oh, you're beautiful, you're, you, you might leave them, right? Or you might see that you're better than them. And in their eyes, they are better than you. Even though they need you and even they, though they know, they know that you have everything inside of you that, that they don't have inside of them and that they envy you low-key, of having, because that's how they, that's why they chose you in the first place, because you have what they don't have and they want, but they want to control what they don't have and which is you. So at the end of the day, they know well why they chose you if you're still in the relationship with a narcissist. They well know why they chose you if you're not in a relationship with a narcissist anymore. At the end of the day, everything is to feed their ego. When you can stand in the facts, right? And reminding yourself that everything is for ego for them, then you can get over, get over it, 
and understand why they never compliment you, why they never try to, you know, make you feel good or, you know, give you some recognition. They don't care. Stand in the facts to understand everything's about their ego and they're not trying to make you feel good because at the end of the day, it's all about them. They want you to focus on them. Even if it's time to celebrate you, it's not about you. It's always going to revert back, around to, back down to them. And if at any point in time, you try to bring that up to show them, hey, you're not even acknowledging me, something, you know, I'm, I want to celebrate They'll literally manipulate the situation to make you feel guilty that you're putting all the attention on you and you're being selfish and you're being conceited and you're being this and you're being that or they'll they'll make negative negative comments to make you feel guilty. It's all about manipulation to make you understand again nothing is about you. So when you can stand in the facts, understand who these people are, right? They're all about their ego and it's always about them. It's like a little, and they have a kid-like mentality that they will throw a tantrum, they will manipulate you, they will gaslight you, they will, they will be vindictive to make, spitefully maybe ruin your occasion or they will, you know, make you feel guilty and make you feel bad and make you all, put you down basically. Just because you are celebrating you and it's all about them, then you can be able to let that fucking shit go. Sorry for swearing. Let it go and realize it's never going to be about you. And either you're going to accept that and leave the relationship or you left already and you can stand in that fact, knowing that, that it would have never changed to be able to heal and move on. And look at it as a blessing in disguise that you're no longer with that toxic person that would have never, ever support you in any type of way. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you found value. I hope that you got great tips from this to heal, to either get yourself out of that toxic relationship with that narcissist, or if you're out already, you can feel empowered and stand in the facts to wise up and rise up above these narcissists that you are winning right now, not being with that toxic person no more. Let's celebrate you. Let's celebrate your small wins. Let's celebrate that... You know, you can focus on you now and not let anybody steal your shine and steal your thunder anymore because you are well and deserving of it. If you're listening to this, you're a queen. If you're, if you're listening to this, you're a king. We deserve the world and we can have the world once we get rid of that toxic person and we are able to stand in the facts and learn day by day and take one day at a time to learn and remember who these people are, to move on and move forward, to again, wise up and rise up above these narcissists. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. Again, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Join the Wise Up, Rise Up community today, and I'll see you guys again on another video.